I never been pressed to delete the merge from the Chaos Realm. Last you, rookie. Gentlemen, please. I hear something. See you again, sir. Howdy, Red. How are the wife and kids? Here you go, sir. <coughs> A little present for you. All right, we have some monumental tasks ahead of us. We must get to work immediately. Red, copy details. That. Blue, provide transportation to Castle Chaos. And you. Who is this guy? Great! You're in coffee detail with Red. Let's go! <laughs> This guy. Up. No! He's got rogue written all over him. Right, Q? Tom Hornblower? No. Straight shooter. Great guy. The aura is like a demilitarized zone. We couldn't breed a more subservient creature. I know. I've tried. Really? He sure hides it well. He's perfect. His neurosis is at a level eight. But sir, I thought. Hopefully, once this organization launches the first $50 pop scratch ticket, the whole estate will become mindless zombies, like he. But sir, do you need to be reminded that we've already achieved 75% of that goal last January with a mugs and jugs scratch ticket? Well, just witness this interaction between him and this low-level ineffectual authoritarian. Hornblower! That's where all the donuts went. You get those daily memo mantras I sent you? Yes, sir. I've been appropriately indoctrinated to this day's workload. Eh, <laughs> great. Now, do you just do me this favor? Bring this file down to Bob Bardo, Sector 3K? I would, but <laughs> I don't want to walk across the building. And the K-Wing, for the strangest reason, gives me the nastiest nosebleeds. You hear that, Hornblower? Blood! Coming out of my nose! <laughs> Faucets, just never see a squirter. I'll do it right after lunch, sir. Is that okay? Who's lunch? <laughs> Good day, Mr. Stevenson. Hope the dialysis goes well. Mr. Bardo? Yes? Yeah, I have the uh, file that Mr. Santos wanted to give you. Ah, that must be... <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> yes, that must be the latest nepotism quotient from Acquisitions. Okay, my dear son, I don't have all day. Give it here, son. I don't have all day. Oh, sorry, sir. So, uh, Mr. Bardo, what is it you do here in the K-Wing? Well, quite a lot, actually. 
For instance, I'm the head of Nepotism Payouts and Friendly Acquisitions. Wow. See, since the machine that is the state lottery provides cushy government jobs, I decide what friends and relatives deserve jobs here. Then I create fake departments and the lucky folks sit back and collect their big fat government checks. <laughs> Between me, you, and the wall, not fat enough. <laughs> You're the new guy, Tom Horblow. Ah, you came highly recommended from someone high up. So, uh, what's down the hall? I'm too curious for the monkey. <clears throat> well, young man, follow me and I'll show you the various operations stationed in the cave. Thank you, sir. Right there is the K-17, Office of Octogenary Hypnotism. Interesting you probably should check it out sometime. Oh, it's looking for fresh meat. Oh! Thanks for the tip, sir. What's in this room? Ah, I thought you'd ask. That's the headquarters of the dam. Uh, esoteric slash and cult. It's probably has something to do with that. <coughs> Foxing and channeling and theoric entities. <coughs> Seems to be the reason why some people have to call existing here at the K-Wing. <coughs> but not me. <coughs> What's he doing? Any idiot, Pardo? If Hornblower gets wind of all the necromancing and magic in, all will be lost. Maybe Hornblower is destined to run into the pocket someday. Eh? Shh. I have a feeling something is going to happen. This may be the catalyst that will open Hornblower's eyes and make him become a true defender of the faith. I have prophesied this day. It will defy my death. What? No, you didn't. And no, you won't. You... Faux precogna. Fuck! <coughs> I'm just gonna check this room out. Okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Fine, fine. So, you programmed him to be on the side. So, when are we gonna meet this guy? Get green a handbook. We don't program mortals for our own personal gain. Well, what are you volunteer for? Blue, get Green a handbook. This brainwashing scheme wreaks a cowardice and disorder. Good job, Lawrence. Get some good vibes off you. Q, am I done for the day? Can I go home? Mr. Q, are you all right, sir? You're not fine. Look, you were right about Tom Hornblower. I never should have given him a data entry, John. Look, without chaos, we'd both be unemployed. Mr. Jenkins, punch up file uh, 211B. Check this out. Every sleeper agent the opposition sends hurtling our way has a tracking device implanted. We fish one out of prisoner 17 and crack the code. See?
There. We are now successfully tracking one Tom Hornblower, or whatever that poor slob's name was before those savages raped his soul. He and that fortune bitch haven't gotten that far. Come on, let's go pick him up. Oh, come on, snap out of it. Is this the same entity that was present when the universe Gnab Gib was brought down to absolute zero? Is this the same guy who laughed when he turned the entire planet Thanagar into a unified crystalline substance? Is this the asshole who initiated military action at Tenement Square? Pickle But I warned you about that shitty attitude of yours! What the fuck are we doing here? Since we have to run away deity and a mindfuck humanoid! Let's go! Sure this is the place? Uh-huh. How do you know? I don't know how I know. I just do. Well, what kind of logic is that? Well, come on, give me a break. I mean, it's been programmed into my head or something, right? This is the place. I don't get places like this. Why not? And don't give me that gods don't die bull either. I mean, where are the rest of your pantheon pals? Well, sure, this persona you are talking to now may seem somewhat finite, but what you aren't talking to is, has, and always will exist. This ego shell that I inhabit is held together by prayers of gamblers. You wouldn't think so, but gods are just as alive today as they were in ancient times. How so? Well, the Egyptians got a big boost of popularity back in the 20s, and the Norse gods are kept alive and well through comic books and Swedish metal bands. I myself have roots in Greco-Roman deities, but I've only been around since the 70s. I learn something new every day. Okay, guys. Good work. We made it. Yeah, good thing those bastards didn't catch up with you. Guess these boneheads did something right for a change. We did. We did. Not that, Godfrey. What? Um, we followed her. Mr. Picklefeather. She's coming with us. Fuck him up, boss. Not if I have anything to do about it. Why, when are you going to leave us alone? How are we supposed to ever learn to do things on our own if you don't let us spread our wings? Quiet, you. Now, you mad, mad. Doing this? 